All right, I just got the new haul, which means I need to start hauling butt. See what I did there on uh, some of these diecasts from last year, and I still haven't finished like uploading stuff, which is wild. Um, but anyways, let's just let's just get it off. Okay. Well, uh, I was hoping for the pageant of the Rosenquist, but you know what? Well, it's fine. It's fine. This is uh, Podho Awards number five, Aero Electronics. Um, Indianapolis 500 throwback livery. I forget what this is a throwback of. Hold up, I need to do some research. All right, let, but, but let, let's get this out of the box and then I'll do some research. All right, look at the galaxy finish on this. Is it a galaxy or what you call it? It's like a gloss. I think I think this is more of a galaxy look, like galaxy, galaxy color. It looks incredible, actually. This is very well done by Greenlight. Uh, 2886, not bad, uh, but absolutely, I, I love it. I, I don't actually remember it being on the actual 500 car, but it looks really good, and it is getting onto my fingers now. That, the, okay. This is what happens when I leave cars in the box for six months. Um, this is, I believe, the last year that we had, or we will have the black, not black, the red sidewall Indy 500 tires. I think everyone hates these, so I'm glad they're getting rid of them now. Uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful diecast. I do wish it was on the white rims. I'm too lazy to change it. So let's take a quick look at the sponsors and stuff of this car. And then maybe we should do trading card first, Edge. How about that? Get this out of the way. Pretty basic. There is a little bit of texture. No. No, there isn't a bit of a texture. It was just on the camera. It looked like there was a bit of a texture or something. Anyways, here it is. Um, there's the back of the trading card. Hacho was not really good at winning the 500, is he? Put that back there. All right, take a look at some of the sponsors here on the front end. It's gonna be hard to get a good angle at this. Here we go. Arrow, the number five, Chevrolet, Electrolit, Electrolit. Um, oh, this said Electrolytes for a second. Mission, NTT Data IndyCar Series, Delara, Aero, Aero McLaren, uh, Medallia, NTT Data, Expand something? I don't really know what that is. Firestone, One Semi, or On Semi. I always, call, I always say One Semi for some reason, but I think it's On Semi. Uh, Mission, I think it's Mission Foods, right? Uh, NTT Data IndyCar Series, Chevrolet, Lucas Oil, Aero, Aero, Aero. Um, Electrolip, there's some contingency sponsors down there. There's the McLaren logo you can see, Chevrolet Electrolip. Uh, contingency sponsors. Uh, it says Greenlight Collectibles under the Aero screen. Number five, PPG. Shell Fuel McLaren. I believe that's actually where Vu's logo would be. Um, I'm not completely sure on that, but I'm, 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 I'm like 70% sure on that. Uh, Electrolip, Mission Foods, Electrolip. Um, I think this is like the Triple Crown logo or something they had um, for their car or whatever, McLaren. Um, and something on the back, extra maybe? I, I, I can't read that. That one's a little too hard to read there, but this is of course a, um, a throwback, I guess you could say, to uh, McLaren's, I don't, wanna, I, don't, I don't even know the year, so I'm not even gonna attempt it, the Le Mans one. Uh, I believe it was Rosenquist who had the, was it Rosenquist? Yes, Rosenquist had the Indiana, not the Indian 5, sorry, the Monaco Grand Prix livery, and then Rossi had the Indy 500 win victory, um, scheme, or livery, sorry, um, so yeah, and then Kanan just had a regular car, <laughs> I don't know why they had that, and then they just put Kanan's car there, it, it was kind of weird, I, I, I still don't get it. No major uh, decal flaws, like my Grand Prix haul I just opened out of the box. Take a look at that. They just got rid of the white there on the 15. That's cool. And that's the only time you'll see that car on camera, because I'm not doing a review, review of it, because I'm too lazy to. And I got way too many cars. Uh, but yes, this Galaxy finish I really do like, though. Even if I don't remember it on the car. I thought it was just a full black car, but, black car, but I guess that from the TV... Maybe you wouldn't see that gloss and galaxy finish. We get the same type of finish on the Alex Blue Championship car, 
which will look absolutely great. So I can't wait to unbox that one. Um, very well done though, livery. It, it's clean and it's effective for sure. Uh, I really also liked what they did with the um, Monaco car for uh, F1 for uh, Piastri and uh, Norris that year, or I guess it was last year in 2023. Uh, they had all three liveries in one. It, it, I don't think they did the portioning right. Like I think like half the front wing would have been one. Maybe it was like the front wing was one. Then this part would be, I think this was, I think I'm, I'm gonna try to guess, Le Mans win? I think this would have been um, F, uh, the Monaco win, and this was the uh, Indy win. I don't know. The portions were really weird though, but it was a good idea and I liked it. I liked what they did with it. But again, this is definitely a pickup. I wish I got the other two um, Triple Crown cars. I'm gonna keep on looking for them, but this car got released about the same time as everything else actually, when it was all said and done, but they didn't release the other three Indianapolis 500 cars. So like the Rossi throwback, the, I'm gonna call it a throwback, um, the Rosenquist and the Canapino, they all got released later on in the year, I think with like the Polo champion, no, Polo was after though. I, I don't know, it was really weird how they released the cars this year and I was really only able to find the five car. Like that was like, everything else was like secret. They only had the six and seven mostly available at tracks, I think. Um, there was a few websites that were able to get their hands, I think, on them, but like, Spoiler, spoiler Diecast didn't have it. I think Circle B may have. Lionel didn't. Toronto Motorsports didn't. It, it was a whole mess. I hated it, but it, it, it was fine, I guess. Um, I'm surprised they didn't do a um, special livery this year. Maybe that's what they needed for a pet to get a win. Um, every single time I see this car, though, I just think of him basically in the air. Like, not in the air, but he's, he's wall riding like this. That, that, that's all I remember from this car and Erickson cutting him off and wrecking him and stuff. Yeah. Pato's gotta win one at some point, right? Like, it, if he doesn't win the 500, I don't, I don't even know what I can compare it to, actually. You could kind of compare it to a Denny Hamlin championship or like a Mark Martin championship or like a Kyle Busch. You know what? No. Kyle Busch Daytona 500. That's what it is if Busch doesn't win the 500. Th that's exactly what I'm getting vibes of because it's three years of chances and they've all been absolutely ruined uh yeah this year he finished second last year he wrecked of course in this car 2022 what did he do in 2022 oh um he could have gone on the outside of erickson and he didn't have the balls to do it 2021 i don't really think he was in much contention for it i think like he wrecked at some point in the week 2020 was his rookie year though, so since 2022 he's had a chance to win. It's three years now. We're going into four next year, and he's been so close every single time. Uh, but I, I think he'll get it done at some point as long as McLaren keeps on delivering the rocket ships they have. Um, I, I think I think we should see Pato Ward uh, kissing the bricks and drinking the milk very shortly. Nothing much else to really talk about though. Again, like I said, this car is probably a must get. Um, I know I got this one actually instead of the McLaren, like the standard livery. I didn't get it in time. I got this one though because I waited for this one. So sacrifices had to be made. I did the same with the Ray Hall. That's why I got the Ray Hall now. Uh, but it, yeah, it's a good livery. I like it. It looks really good. I wish I had the other two though for sure. I think it would look better. Um, I am surprised they didn't make a three pack of this because two years ago when they did that, um, what do you call it? The McLaren, like, undefeated series or whatever. I don't know. What was it called? Undefeated, yes. Arrow undefeated. Um, they made a three-car pack of that. And I was kind of sad they didn't make one of this because I would totally would have been fine with getting that three-pack and then just, like, Facebook market, market placing this car, probably, um, which is now what I'm doing with, like, my, my Majeski and my Matt Kenseth duplicates or whatever. Um... No one's gonna buy them though, because Canada. No one, no one buys diecast. I'm the only one who buys them in this town. So, we'll see. Anyways, uh, nothing else though. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you don't get to comment, like, and subscribe, so you never miss another video. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.